The Pioneer School District has a rich and distinguished history, one that includes a commitment to top-notch facilities for its students. A prime example of this is the Capital Project currently finishing up, which included a great many worthwhile and needed upgrades to our aging facilities. This initiative improved Pioneer's safety and energy efficiency, enhanced learning opportunities, and brought us our first multi-use stadium, an exterior barn for the agriculture program, and the middle school's new large group instruction facility. But an unusual thing happened during the planning and execution of the 2007 to 2009 project. It exposed a great many areas in which the school is deficient or lagging behind standards for education facilities. Well, the first project that we had had a couple of phases to it, and initially there were nuts and bolts, a lot of mechanicals, um, some outside work, um, the turf field as we all know, but we never really addressed the interiors of the buildings, especially the high school. Um, the high school is now 40 years old, and we need to address some of the program issues that are a little outdated at the high school. A committee was formed from among community members, Board of Education members, parents, staff, and students to look into even more ways to better serve students, to challenge their curiosity and their ability to think critically and creatively. The Foundations of Excellence School Construction Plan is the answer in many ways. It is a $26.2 million proposal that will cost Pioneer taxpayers nothing, but will benefit our students, our community's future, immeasurably. The project would be carried out between 2011 and 2013 and would be paid for through a combination of state building aid, currently reimbursed at a rate of 98%, an additional form of state aid called Excel, and capital reserves. Once it has been approved by the state, funding is locked in. This is truly a win-win for Pioneer. Our students need world-class facilities in order for us to provide them with a world-class education. In other words, something they will use for the rest of their lives. Pioneer High School would receive a combination of repairs and dynamic additions. A new music suite would give the performing arts program the space needed for a growing, vibrant program. Another wing would house 10 science classrooms and labs, supporting the authentic, hands-on experiences called for in 21st century learning. Former South Wing science classrooms would be converted to instructional space for Pioneer's growing and ever-diverse special education population. Also, existing Board of Education and Music rooms would be converted to a large group instruction space similar to the one recently installed at the middle school. Additionally, the front foyer would be extended and renovated, and at the north end, a new mechanical room would house the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning equipment for the new areas. The music department is excited about the prospects for expanded instructional and storage space. Well, the way the, con the band room is set up is there aren't accessible practice rooms for the kids to be able to actually be in a smaller, on, smaller room practicing. And for lessons, it's very difficult because if you have um, lessons with two different types of instruments in, all the kids are confined to one room. And so it's kind of like teaching math and science and history all in the same room at the same time. There's no place to spread the kids out so that they can actually get instruction and concentrate on their instrument and what they're doing. Similarly, the science department would be able to meet the evolving learning standards that call for more rigorous student observation and inquiry. The square footage of the, the space needed for students is, is changed. We're woefully um, undersized for our laboratories and the science areas. The music areas, the same thing. Arcade Elementary School is an historic, charming facility with roots that spread deep in Pioneer's history. It is the oldest facility in the district, still in use as a school with sections that date back to 1929. Nevertheless, much of the building remains behind the times and failing to meet basic construction codes. Stop by the third floor, where you'll see the need for a massive renovation of classrooms, 
including flooring, walls, cabinetry, paint, ceilings, lights, and heating ventilation. The classrooms are very much like they were back in the 30s. We have the old woodwork, the old slate chalkboards, um, the ceilings are very high, which are not very energy efficient. Um, the sinks, the plumbing, everything is very old on that third floor, second floor too. But we have to start somewhere and we're going to start with the third floor. On the grounds, sidewalks and pavement areas would be replaced under the plan. Safety items, such as an emergency generator and fire alarms, would also be upgraded. A partial roof replacement is also included. Pioneer Middle School is the site of groundbreaking learning efforts, as evidenced by its 2008 designation by the state as a school to watch. Here, the project calls for a number of fix-it steps, along with program items that dovetail nicely with district initiatives and higher-level learning. The Gateway Program is a precursor to the Project Lead the Way High School program that is molding the next generation of industrial engineers. The construction plan would create a new computer lab in the technology classroom area that is needed for the study of design, manufacturing, and machines. It would replace our traditional technology program with an opportunity for students to go ahead and utilize computers and technology um, along with the saws and the tools that we currently have in the technology room. Put simply, if you take your soapbox derby car, in the past students would receive a block of wood, they would carve that up and they would create a soapbox derby car from that. Now what would happen is they would design that soapbox derby car on the computer. Um, using a type of a CAD program, a drawing program, and then they would take the blueprint from that drawing and they would actually um, take the piece of wood and then they would still cut the piece of wood and shape it into their soapbox derby car. Another part of the middle school plans would create a low ropes course for the Project Adventure program. A curriculum designed around the course would teach team building and problem solving concepts and be available to all grades as well as community groups. It would be an outdoor uh, station that our physical education classes could utilize. But most importantly, you know, the middle school is a place where students come from Delavan and Arcade and they come together. And a low ropes course would be used to go ahead and and build trust between those students. Uh, it would become a central part of our orientation program um, for students. We also uniquely can use it for staff or community, um, community businesses or organizations that would like to do this. Middle school science classrooms would be reworked to bring them up to code and to meet learning standards. And the Library Media Center is in line for wireless technology upgrades. Delavan Elementary School received many upgrades in the current improvement project and as a result is in relatively good shape. Still, the 1989 addition to the facility would receive a new roof and there are infrastructure enhancements that will contribute to the building's condition in the areas of health, safety and energy efficiency. Well, the Delavan School is in pretty good shape. It's a, it's a well-built building. Um, it was built and entirely out of block and mortar, um, no drywall and such. The 1989 addition that's now 20 years old needs a new roof put on it. That needs to be um, brought up to date. Needs a new generator. Um, we never really had a generator before, and that's a big part of our the safety backup for the building. In the library media center, it needs some half walls put in to hide some electric cables and some of the ITS uh, the computer cabling that needs to go in just to clean that up. Um, most of the building has the old chalkboards in it, and the new technology is new whiteboards and using the dry erase boards, so I'm going to put those in as well. The Foundations of Excellence project makes sense for Pioneer on so many levels. It allows us to engage our students, who are our future and our greatest asset. It is the next logical step in making our schools the safe and productive places they must be going forward. And the plan enables the bold new programs that will help keep Pioneer producing the critical, creative and curious thinkers that the future will demand.